have a game plan. A game plan. First, we're going to identify the type of variation. Oh boy! Then, we're going to set up the generic with appropriate variables. Then, we're going to solve for k. <laughs> Fork. And then, we're going to set up the specific with our found k. Okay! And then finally, you answer the question. If there is anything misspelled here, please correct it in the comments below. So what's the problem? All these are set up the same way since the beginning of time. This is the hook. This is a classic. Hooke's law for an elastic spring states that the distance a spring stretches varies directly as the force applied. If a force of 15 pounds stretches a certain spring 8 inches, how much will a force of 30 pounds stretch the spring? Let's bounce on and do the math. Hooke's law. It's catchy. Okay, so what does it say? It says distance is directly proportional to the force applied. Oh boy! So step one. Distance is directly proportional. So you set up direct. You go and you say that y varies directly as x. What's next? In step two, what do you do? You write a generic one with the appropriate variables. It says distance d varies directly as what force? So let's put an f. Okay, so now in the second sentence, before the comma, they give you the, um, values to find K. Okay, it says, if a force of 15 pounds stretches a spring 8 inches, how much? Let's just use that in order to find K. The force is 15, the distance is 8, that's great. Wait, the distance was 8, and the force was... Was it 15 or was it 14? It was 15. Bam! Finish him. Because we're finding K in our third step. So 8 fifteenths. That's K. Now what are we going to do? We're going to set up our specific with our found K. Okay. So if I'm over here, I'm all like the distance is equal to 8 fifteenths the force. May it be with you. To answer the problem, coming after the comma, they ask the question, how much will a force of 30 move the spring? So where do we put that? In the distance or into the force? That was the force step. Now the fifth step, the last one, answered the question. And number five, they want to know how much distance, boom, is going to happen or is a result of 30 pounds of force. So this is 30, and then you finish him. And we're gonna see that our distance is gonna be. Ooh, if I, uh, uh, year two, or 16, what were our units? Inches. And it I'm hooked.